We're very proud of our partnership with the City of Flint Police Department. They have done so much to show their dedication to the community and have just been really visible and out there interacting with the public. And that's really important. They've really changed their image, not only externally, but internally as well, and really reinvigorating the pride that goes along with the difficult and often really thankless public service industry. They came to us to help get the word out about all the employment opportunities within their department. And what better way to do that than to bring out all of their toys. So we had a job fair out at our Fenton Service Center and they brought out several of their tactical vehicles and set them up in the parking lot and really created a buzz around that. And then one of the job fairs, they even brought a bounce house for kids. So they really do such a great job of creating a community event out of the things that they've been doing. We're really proud of Shay. She first came into our office and she was looking at a job in law enforcement and wanted to attend the police academy. So, you know, we worked with her. She, she got through that program with flying colors got her position within the City of Flint Police Department and was a rising star. She worked so hard and in no time was promoted to the position of a homicide detective. And she's just such a shining example of the opportunities available to anyone who really shows up, sets their mind on a goal that they, that they want to achieve and just works super hard to get there and achieve it. Our number one goal is to become an integral part of the community, and that's very important. We cannot succeed and be successful as a department without the trust and the commitment and the cooperation from the community. That is very important to our mission and our goal in order for us to serve them even better and be successful as a department. In addition to that, it's the opportunity we provide for professional development. There are so many opportunities here to grow where we offer that and no other agency can offer that. I am Lieutenant in charge of the Recruitment and Hiring Division. I guess my story is unique like anybody else's would be. I was working a job, I was pretty much at the top of the job and I said, it's not enough. I need something that's gonna challenge me and what more challenging career can you get in besides law enforcement? And just the opportunities that law enforcement just provided, it's just incredible to me. And you know, it's funny because when I was in the academy, they used to make us write our goals down. And the goal I wrote down prior to my retirement, I'd like to at least be the rank of a lieutenant and I'd like to be somewhere involved in training. Look at God. When I first took over the recruitment and hiring. I was turned on at GST Michigan Works by the Academy uh, Director, Lieutenant Dave Livingston, and says, hey, you should give these people you know, a call. They can help out with the Academy tuition and assistance and things like that. So I made contact with Tricia Diagostino at the GST Fenton office, and we had a business relationship on the phone for two years before we actually met in person. We just have just this great relationship where she's Johnny on the spot with, you know, making sure our recruits did everything they need as far as like their tuition, their books, uniforms, equipment, anything they would ever need. So it's a, it's a really great program that, you know, people need to take advantage of. So this time last year, I met Lieutenant Dixon. First it was a phone call and then eventually he came to our office out in Fenton and we just started to get to know each other. We just started building a relationship. And I think at the time we had a career fair event coming up actually in our Flint office and it was a multi-employer job fair. We had them come on out and we had a pretty good turnout for that one. It was over 200 and some people on not the nicest day in the world, but they came on out. What we do is we set up our promotional tent. I mean, we'll go out there, we'll interact, we'll talk with the public, you know, just get out there in the community and let people know what's going on with the Flint Police Department. We thought about, well, what's the next thing that we could do? Well, why don't we do another job fair, but we'll do it at our Fenton Service Center. Through that conversation with Lieutenant Dixon, we were just trying to figure out something that would be different, that would attract people. So I said, well, why don't you bring out some of your toys? I know you got toys. You got your MRAP, the tank, you got your bomb squad vehicle. Why don't you bring out some of those robots? Old police cruiser. And then he just started just throwing some more things out. And then next thing you know, we were having a job fair out at the Fenton Service Center and I was watching Owen Road and all of a sudden I just see this tank coming down the road. And I'm like, oh my God, he really did. He really brought the tank. <laughs> so, but we had a lot of fun that day and we attracted a lot of people in the Fenton community. And then that day, Lieutenant Dixon and I and Trish, we were sitting there 
well, what's the next thing? We're always like thinking, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? So he came up with the idea, well, why don't we do it at, the, at our headquarters in the Flint? And I said, yeah, that'd be great. And as opposed to it being just an employer showcase, it became like an employer meet and greet for the community. We set out all our vehicles. I mean, we had a recruitment team out there that consists of myself, Sergeant Dane Seltzer, Officer Nicole Reed, Officer Terry Lewis, Officer Christina Arthur, Officer Courtney Banks, Officer Jared Oliver, Officer Michael Forstick, and of course, Officer Shea Kelly. I've been with the City of Flint Police Department going on four years now. I was a patrol officer for two years, and the end of my second year, I promoted up to a homicide detective. When you're in patrol, everybody on the road say, oh, detectives don't do nothing. They just sit behind their desk and eat lunch all day. Not true. You always learning. Every day you learning. Search warrants, talking to, you know, someone as a suspect versus a victim or even just a witness. Everything is different. You'll never know everything as a homicide detective. It gets hard. It gets emotional sometimes. Every, every case is different. So I'm coming up on two years and it's still a lot. I don't know. Every day I'm still at one of my colleagues' door like, uh, what, what can I do about this? Can you help me? Or what you think about this? So it's just, it's different. You gotta want it. You gotta want it and you gotta be willing to do the work that comes with it. I was one of the officers that interviewed Officer Kelly and I knew when I interviewed her, I saw something special in her. I said, you know what? That young lady's gonna be something. And here she is now. She's one of our shining stars at the department. I mean, she excelled very quickly into a position that normally takes a long time. It's just a testament of who she is and her work ethic. And it is, it is an honor to know her and an honor to watch her. She's one of my prodigies that I am so, so very proud of. I understand she's like one of the first people to uh, go through the program and her input and her benefit to this department is unparalleled. She is one of the finest officers that we do have and I hope well for her and you know when my day comes when I retire and I'm able to look back at the department I know she'll be she'll be up there. Just want to say that without GST Michigan Works I would not have made it through the academy. I love Sue and Trish. They helped me a lot. They held my hand through the whole Academy. From day one, they were very helpful. It was a, a great program, a great one, and I've actually told other people about it. So even in the Academy, people now that we talk to, we'd be at a restaurant like on our lunch break, and I'd be like, oh, well, Michigan Works will pay for you to go through the Academy, you know, because most people, how much do it cost? And it's like, well, you know, I give you this number, and you know, if you qualify, you qualify. They'll do what they can. I can't say that I didn't have money thoughts, money issues, anything. I was able to focus on schooling, my training, everything, and I will say that was just all GST Michigan Works. Otherwise, I would have, you know, had a lot of, had a lot of thinking to do, so. The partnership between GST Michigan Works and the Flint Police Department is just of the utmost importance to us. We consider GST Michigan Works a brother-sister agency of ours, and they have assisted us in so, so many great things. And this dream, this vision, it's not just the Flint Police Department is GST Michigan Works as well. It's our dream and our vision. I'm telling you, they, it is true. Like I consider people at Michigan Works like my family.